moving on to the Highlands, mm -hmm. um, you're in Inverness for the Highland Business Dinner. What kind of connection or perception do you have of Inverness and the surrounding area? Oh, that's an interesting question. I mean, I, I've been really lucky to have worked in most parts of uh, the British Isles, certainly through sport, and um, in particular if there's a world-class golf course in the Dwarf Step. And as you know, there are many in Indeed. this part of the world. Indeed. So I've been very lucky to have worked at a number of them here. Um, and probably the one that resonates most, especially with me, because we're not far from it, is Castle Stewart. And I was here for uh, all of the uh, all of the, the Barclays uh, Scottish Opens that were staged here. Um, and I really, really enjoyed those times because A, the aspect was wonderful, and B, there was a real groundbreaking uh, feel about it. It was the, the most northerly European tour uh, venue that had ever been uh, a big championship had ever been staged, um, and I think there was there was also a feeling that this was a, a beautiful new golf course, and it was getting it was being showcased to the world, and it was being added to people's bucket lists who were coming to yeah. play golf in the in the region. So, so that was great, um, and I've always had a connection to the history of this place because one of my best friends at university lived here and worked uh, for Historic Scotland in the area, so I used to visit her quite a lot, and um, often visited Culloden Moor. And uh, I really, I really uh, enjoy that. I really enjoyed the the atmosphere and the sense of uh, the sense of history that you got there. It's a very, I know people probably use the, the adjective eerie, but it is, there's an eerie feeling there, and and you do have to be, you have to have a certain reverence there. I find, um, I, and I really, I really enjoyed some of the historical aspects of being in the Highlands, mm. and over. Over and above that, it's for me a gateway to going down Loch Ness and then going right up the, the, the west coast and touring around. And I've had some great family holidays in this area as well over the years with my immediate family and with my, my, my brother and particularly with my, my mum and dad over the years too. So I've got some lovely connections and some lovely memories of being in this area, all of them usually when the weather's all right. Yeah. What are you doing up here that we're not in Glasgow? I don't know. It's always sunny. In it's there, always right? sunny. Always sunny. <laughs> Apart from Castle Stewart <laughs> that one year. <laughs> Just occasionally. <laughs> I mean, over the years, have you seen changes in the area? Yeah, huge changes. Even coming up on the train today, I was saying uh, on, on the way from the, the station, I, I've not seen that before. When, when was that built? So I get, you know, I know that this place is one of the fastest growing cities in, uh, in Great Britain and there's, there's house building everywhere. Uh, and I know obviously with the, the Highlands and Islands, uh, the university here, it, that, that college structure is booming here. And if you've got students coming here and you've got a real youth and you've got a lifeblood in the city, that's a really positive thing, I think, as well. So I, I think it's one of the great secrets uh, in the United Kingdom at the moment. And I'm not surprised that people want to move here because you've got it all. You're very lucky. Uh, you, you've got beautiful fresh air. You've got the senior on your doorstep. You've got wonderful You've got wonderful um, industrial opportunities. You've got great tourist opportunities. You've got an airport that is absolutely thriving. And I know that people coming in and out of that airport, particularly play, to play golf, it's like, oh, we're just on the doorstep, are we? Fantastic. So yeah, you've got a lot going in this part of the world. And, and I'm glad to see and hear that industry is really making the most of the opportunities. Let's come back to golf for a second. You mentioned Castle Stewart, which yeah. I assume you played when you were uh, Yes, that. I did, yes. Other courses up here on well, your Nairn list? Well, Nairn is one of my, my favourites, yeah, and I think that would probably be... And then if you go up, Dornoch is also, uh, again, one of my favourites because, and this is going back a long time, uh, we used to come caravanning here when I was a little, little girl, and Dornoch was always the place that we came. My mum and dad loved it, and we used to camp, camp there, and um, the beach at Dornoch has got... M multiple photographs of my brother and I on the beach there, usually in wellies, I have to say, to, to counter that sort of it always sun, sun, it's always sunny here thing. But yeah, so I've got good memories of all of these areas. And one of these days, when I'm not so busy, I'll come back and actually play them back to back to back to back. How about that? Yeah, there's a pro-am at the end of September. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah. I, need to get, I need to get a pass. I need to get a day pass for that one. <laughs>